People have ideas in all sorts of different ways and there's no right or wrong or easy painting by numbers guide. Just try loads of different techniques to find what works for you. Einstein said he didn't have his best ideas when he had his head in books, but instead when he went sailing. And Salvador Dali used to take naps holding a bunch of keys above a plate. So when he would fall into a deep sleep, he'd drop the keys, jolting him awake. And in this state, when he had barely lost consciousness, that's when he thought he had his best ideas. My creative partner and I used to walk around the block, talking through the product, the problem, the brand in as much detail as possible. But we also used to challenge each other when concepting that if one of us went to the loo, we had to have a good idea while we were in there. Sometimes we would sit in a place that was most relevant to the target market, like an airport or a supermarket cafe, just to watch the people that we were coming up with the ideas for. We'd watch them, imagine what they liked, what they were into, and sometimes we'd go and talk to them, even getting immediate anonymous feedback on first thoughts. But my favourite way of coming up with ideas is saying all of the stupid things that come into your head to another person. Let's do nanvertising. Let's shave the logo into chihuahuas, etc, etc. Then one of those stupid thoughts might trigger a reference or some other stupid idea from your creative partner. And you can follow that wormhole into the stuff that you find fun or amusing or intriguing or exciting. And an interesting idea is usually at the end of that. People have totally different ways of coming up with ideas and they are all good. Find what works for you, then keep trying to tweak that and experience some freshness. The thing that all great ideas have in common is that they are born of trying to solve problems. Horses not going fast enough? The car. Can never find a taxi? Uber. Ads not capturing the pure, unadulterated joy of eating chocolate? The Cadbury Gorilla. An idea without a problem is unlikely to really be a very good idea. But sometimes you can match the problem to an idea after the fact, and that's okay. Honestly, it's really, really worth trying to make the best idea happen, even if it's really tricky. That feeling of pride when you do, it's gold dust. And also, you only really need one amazing idea to get known as the person who made yada yada. And that's so good for your career.